Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. And today, I have a Velocicoaster update for you. Some images from Bio Reconstruct. You have Twitter, and there's even more images on Orlando Park Stop. These are from, I'd say, last week sometime. I wanted to get this video up a couple of, uh, a few days ago, but other news came and I was delayed so we got this video up now but some significant progress has been made on the Velocicoaster here at Islandwood Islands of Adventure at Universal Orlando. As you can see this aerial shot most of the track work is completed they just got to finish the last segment into the station which we'll see a little bit later and here's that a launch segment again look at this so they got the show building almost done the concrete's all poured they're working on that kind of third level for the HVAC and the offices. It has more offices. But look at that launch. It can be launched right out of the tunnel into the um, that top hat area. Of course, you've got uh, looks like some cranes and some team members working on maybe the, the pathways and maybe some just some scenery in that area. There's the top hat. And there's a couple surprises on the top hat, and they'll see in a, a couple later pictures. Um, some animals have decided to make that their new home, and were promptly kicked out. But look at that awesome, awesome theming and rock work starting to form in the background. And again, that Velocicoaster, so that raptor-like cage. You can see sandwich in between some of those buildings and the uh, under construction show building. Here are some of our pets, or not pets, but wild animals on the top of the Velasco. So those are, that's an action osprey. And the osprey is actually nicknamed a raptor. So it's pretty funny that they decided to make their nest up on the raptor track. The nest was promptly removed, but then two more raptors or ospreys appeared a couple days later. So it'll be a fight till the end to see who will win out the, they'll probably continue to try to make their nest there until the ride opens here's a closer up picture of those trim brakes that they added on the top of the the top hat to slow the coaster down potentially not too much though before it drops back down what do you guys think of the trim brakes do you would you want uh do you not want trim brakes on the coaster or do you want the trim brakes on the top like that? I know some people may be a little bit upset with the abrupt stop at the top of the top hat. Here we go and then the lagoon the lagoon. And by the Discovery Center, all the track again is complete. That water is oh so dirty though that hopefully they'll fix that up by the time this opens next year. And they have got the pathway going, the what will be the pedestrian pathway, right by the double helix right there. The, the was that the like the 540 helix that they, they call that. And that beautiful barrel roll by what a potential could be a potential water feature right over there. That's that's amazing. That was absolutely beautiful. It'll be a beautiful coaster. Universal again, really making some beautiful coasters with Hagrids, and now this. Um, it's funny. It's still unannounced. <laughs> Here's another picture of this uh, the Discovery Center with Hogwarts in the background. Interesting mishmashes of theming there, but it kind of fits. I like it's pretty whimsical. Um, at least shows that these are some islands of adventure over here. And again, there's that barrel roll to the right. And some awesome, awesome shots of this coaster. Looks super exciting. I can't wait to see it start testing. And speaking of testing, we'll see some ride vehicles wrapped up. And a few pictures down the line but here's what I was talking about where the track is almost complete this is like the last segment of track where that turn right there just got to be completed and go right back into the show building and then that cage like setting there that might be I think that's where the, it ends and then there is another area we'll see some transfer track that has been completed but yeah this ride is almost done I feel like it definitely could be testing even before next year here's that, again that the cage with I don't, I'm not sure if this is the transfer track or if this is like the final break run where the track is yet to be clear I think it is the final break run because I think this is where you're going 
out of the raptor paddock into uh, the loading station or wherever you came from. But yeah, and there's again some more HVAC being installed at the top of the show opening. Here's an overview of the first part of the coast. Look how condensed that is. That's amazing. Look how condensed that is. There's track and rock work going all over the place. You're going through, over, under rock work. It's incredible. And there's that nice little airtime bunny hill covered in white at the bottom of the picture right above the credit word, the word credit. I'll be hopping over some rocks and then immediately turning going right under those same rocks. That That's incredible. And they are doing amazing. The rock work looks fantastic on this coaster. It's absolutely incredible. And here's our sneak peek of the trains, the trains of the Velocicoaster. It's a it's a short sneak peek. I mean, you can see it. It's in the in the building right there. Um, there's some transfer track, or that's um, the transfer tra transfer track to the right and inside the building. The the actual the uh, coaster. Again, there's that track that's yet to be completed by that raptor cage. I think that's the actual track, but. The coaster trains are in there, and there's a photo on social media of some more cars coming into the um, the theme park. On the, someone caught a photo of it on the freeway, on the flatbed. The coaster trains look awesome. Can't wait to see them unveiled and testing. And here's a photo of the beginning of the ride where you go, you you go through the cage. And into the first launch, <coughs> and there's a whole bunch of scaffolding still as they're continuing working on the rock work, which is just immense. It just it feels like the rock work grows um, day by day, which is just incredible. Here's some on the ground shots of that same area. Um, you see the completed rock work in the foreground and the scaffolding for the rock work, the, the new rock work in the background, and a nice half loop. Or Emmelman segment right there that you get launched right into before you start whipping around the rock work and you got to see the, the moss on the rock work that looks great as well and our final shot here is just a nice overview of the entire park really yeah um the Velasco's look how com it's it's a big coaster but it's very compact at the same time in segments that's I mean that's incredible then you got the rest of the park, and you got the Hulk coaster, Incredible Hulk, Hulk, <laughs> up on the top of the picture. And then you can see again the Velocity coaster snaking into the Wizarding World of Harry Potter with its double helix to the left, going right over the bridge, making a nice entrance statement into the Jurassic Park area for anyone coming from Hogsmeade. And that's just about it for our newest Velocicos update. There will be a lot. There's still a lot of co to cover. But in terms of track, it'll be about the same. That's just about it. Um, future updates for this coaster will be about theming mostly and, of course, testing. I can't wait to get some of those testing videos. So if you're excited for that, give this video a big thumbs up. If you want more theme park updates from the Florida parks and especially the SoCal parks as they start to hopefully open up soon, um... Let me know in the comments below. Stay tuned for a massive SeaWorld announcement, hopefully coming today, but definitely this week. Um, subscribe for more theme park updates, and as always, have a fantastic day. All right, and we're back with an update, actually. So after I filmed this, I was on Twitter, and I saw this image, and that's why I said small. Sorry, guys, it's from my phone, but um, I saw this image, and... Well, here it is. There's a raptor. That's right. A raptor being lifted. And I don't know if it's an animatronic raptor or a static piece of raptor, but, or just a static raptor, but that is a raptor being inserted into the traction. It's a, one of six rumored raptors to be included. Two would be static, four were are rumored to be animatronic. So it'll be very interesting to see where this is placed and to see where, um, where where the other ones go but yeah definitely wanted to update this video before i put it out because this is something super cool and i'm super excited for more thematic elements like this to come let me know in the comments below if you like it what you guys think of it and subscribe for more theme park updates have a fantastic day